What's up, Reefers? Welcome to another episode of Alex Pora Corals. I'm your host, Alex Wilson, and this is more of the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm still going on with this uh, manure, special manure series. You heard it right. I'm adding chicken manure, dehydrated chicken manure to my reef aquariums. And believe it or not, it seems to be doing what I wanted it to be doing, which is adding... Uh, uh, getting my nutrients up nitrates and phosphates and potassium and it seems to be getting up to those higher levels so here we go and here's a shot of my main display today and today is getting close this is the 30th of april so tomorrow to be i'll be ready to move over uh well i'll probably next week sometime uh the corals that I have over here in the quarantine aquarium over here to the main display aquarium. And, you know, I'm not going to transfer all of them, but probably 90% of them. And then I'll be getting another um, new corals to put in the in the quarantine system and go another two and a half months like that. So, looking forward to getting more stuff in there. And then I have the live rock, the Australian live rock. But, of course, that one's got another two weeks to go before I can add those in here and um and it's uh someone asked me on the um, on the comments there that whether it was, it was an april fool's joke because i first started the the chicken manure series this starting april 1st but no it was just like a strange coincidence so yeah there you go it's real it's it's not an april fool's joke it's real dehydrated chicken manure that i'm adding to my reef aquariums and so as far as the amount, you know, I'm going off by what is the recommended amount for the reefroids, which, you know, comes, and then I'm doing it daily, every single day when I, when I feed. So it comes out to about uh, one half of a teaspoon that I'm adding to the main display here. And then on the quarantine aquarium, that's 132, 132 of a teaspoon. So it's it's a small amount, and I had I, I did do twice that, but it seemed like it was a little high. So a half of that amount, that I mean right there seems about good. So yep, yeah, let's check them out. And as far as the, as, I don't know if it's hard if you notice, but the gravel here I have it such that it's crushed coral, and it's a real thin amount. It's just like uh, one fourth of an inch on the bottom. Just enough to cover the glass there and it's just around the, the the sides here in the front but down in the middle there's no uh it's just glass bare bottom as well as in the back in the back i have glass slammed up against the back so that way i'm ready to put a bunch of corals back there and just have them uh you know kind of grow right up there against the glass a good spot for certain corals so yep that's it and um Everything else is, oh, it's looking especially cloudy lately too. I'm at a whole bunch of green algae off the glass. And that was just after one day. So that's even more than it would have had been. Because it, it had been more like, um, well, I still clean the glass daily. But that was a it's kind of a really thick amount. So that's for the last couple of days it's been like that. So that's it's why it's especially cloudy after he, turning the crushed coral and hitting the glass back glass and the front glass so yep there it is doing okay so ch check it out from the side over here so yeah definitely cloudy full of full of algae phytoplankton which hopefully it's good for the clam surely and copepods might eat it too right mr yellow tang He's cool. Alright, so let's check out the quarantine system today. And yep, see the only difference between this one and that one is this one has more corals because on the nutrients it's like it's hitting the same or even higher levels in the main display. So yeah, bubble corals are looking pretty, you know, hitting up against the glass as well as all of the discosoma right here and the, or the recordia. The Florida recordia mushrooms right there and so one thing that I have noticed on these is that with the higher nutrients 
Now I'm starting to get the corals turning the characteristic uh, rich brown color that's associated with the higher nutrients. You know, and a lot of times I would get a lot of frags from uh, different spots. Like I know, I remember uh, Jason Fox Signature Corals and um, Than at Tidal Gardens over there. All of their frags are real dark and have that real rich color that's associated with the higher nutrient levels. And so, you know, I would get those and they would always, you know, lighten up on me, pill it and pill out, you know, and then even die on the Acropora and the Montiporas. So like right here, I can see now that this hammer, he's changed colors, he's starting to get a much darker color now with the higher nutrients levels that I'm running. So those, and as well as the Ganyuoporus right here, and especially, see they were like a, a lightish, lightish green. Well anyway, I'm starting to see a lot more of the darkish brown starting to come in and much more of the, the richer pigmentation. So, I mean, it's fine as long as it, uh, you know, if it goes too, too far, supposedly it, it can kill them, you know, uh, apparently if they, uh, you know, under, uh, you get too much, you know, they grow too, too, too much nutrients, go too quick, too fast or something with the, I mean, in some cases with the Acropora or something, but, uh, but anyway, see, here's the other Ganyoporus and they're, they're a good rich color and, um, same thing with the uh, mushrooms right there. It's getting a little, a little darker to me. Oh yeah, and then uh, let's get a shot of the the green slimer. And so yeah, he's good color, good pulp extension, and he's getting he has that darker color right there to him. So I hope that's a good sign instead of a bad sign, and it certainly shows that hopefully this. Uh, uh, I'm getting that to be on the on the higher on the nutrient side, so that the, I won't be suffering from the lack of nutrients that I have been seeing. So everything else, uh, Christmas tree parietes is about the same. Uh, clams. The, 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 oh yeah, he, he fell off. He already broke off. See his his rock that I put him on. So I don't know. Glue glue him back. Probably glue him back eventually. But yeah, Acanthophilia, pretty crazy. Heliofungia as well. And take a look at this side. And purple and orange uh, mushroom rodactus are the same, looking okay. So that's it, guys. I guess that's it for this update. And uh, I'll check you. Look forward to the next update. Happy reefing. Bye.